Finally, Google is on the story bandwagon. I'm going to explain what Google Web Stories are, how you can make them, why you should make them, and what are they. The reason why Stories has become so popular on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube is because it's all about the immediacy. Google's trying to create an open story format for the internet, a way to make creative visual narratives with engaging animations, with tappable interactions to immerse viewers, all with fast loading pages. It's like they're creating a format that will kind of plug into their Google ecosystem. Google Web Stories integrates content that we're used to, like blog posts and videos, but it gives creators a way to create dynamic 916 totally mobile friendly snippets of content that they can enjoy. Google is not quite creating the tools for this. It's, they're more just creating the structure, the, the format. They provide the documentation for the code, but now third parties are creating the design tools to allow anyone to create Google Web Stories. One of the only services right now that allows you to create Google Web Stories in a graphical interface is a service called Make Stories, but also notably Google created a WordPress plugin. In fact, Google Web Stories solves some important problems and here they are. Problem number one is that people have short attention span. Google Web Stories are short snippets of information that you can consume in between moments. While having a cup of coffee, while taking breaks, These are short snippets of information that are sometimes visually stunning. You could use third parties to create Google Web Stories and then embed them on your website. So you'd actually have to host them. Of course, third party services like Make Stories are making it easier to build these. You still have to host it on your own website. And you could see a world where they're actually preferencing story format in their Google search and highlight your web stories. They're not doing that yet. The second problem that it solves is the immediacy and relevancy relationship. Here's how that works. The more immediate a piece of of content is, the more relevant it is. If there's a quick update in someone's life or in the news, they can quickly capture a moment. Quality might not be that great. Now conversely, if the creator has time for a less immediate topic, it can go through the rounds of production, the copywriting, the video creation. It doesn't matter if it gets posted immediately. Why? Because it's an evergreen piece of content. Google Web Stories gives us the best of both worlds. We can get immediate content that's easy not only to create, but also to consume. And in a way that Google does it better than any other company, the algorithm can figure out what content is immediate and what content is more relevant on a long-term, more evergreen basis. Google is known to test things out, launch different services and products, and then discontinue them a few years later. Who knows if Google Web Stories will be a long-term effort from Google or if it's just an experiment that they're doing. I could definitely see a world where Google is highlighting web stories in their search results, incentivizing businesses and content creators to use the web stories format on their website, share their educational materials, content marketing. There's a lot of different use cases I could see for Google Web Stories down the road, but we still don't know if it's something that they're taking seriously yet. It's definitely just in the early stages. Definitely keep an eye out to see if it might fit a use case for your blog or your website. For more videos on sales, marketing, and beyond, be sure to subscribe to our channel. If you're not subscribed already, it's how we know that you liked this video and you want to see more. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to comment down below and we'll get back to you. And that's it for today. Thank you so much. Farewell.